Hello, this is Chaos Blue, and welcome back to more Let's Play Golden Sun The Lost Age. Last time, we completed the legendary Triton! And this time we're going into Lemuria. Well, sort of. We'll get to that in a minute. First of all, we actually need to do something really quickly here. Hmm. Let's just check in here. Uh, okay. Okay. Well, that's not quite ideal, but we're going to throw this on Felix here, even though it lowers his defense and luck and wind resistance. We don't need that stuff. We need water resistance. And I don't think I have anything for Jenna to do the same, otherwise I would. No, I have two things that increase water power on her, but nothing that increases her resistance. Which does go a long way to explaining why she's nearly as powerful in water synergy as fire. Despite that, she should probably be really weak in it. Anyway, let's go inside the Sea of Time. <clears throat> so, the way this works is actually pretty straightforward. In the Whirlpool? Wow. I can't imagine this looks very good on my recording. Anyway, we can get caught in the currents. We are going to use this to basically do that and avoid things like this because this will shoot us straight out of the sea of time like that hold on to that tiller do you want us to get swallowed by the waves yep I mean that wasn't actually my best that was more a demonstration than anything. Uh, he doesn't know how to get past the damn whirlpool. <laughs> Although, it's not the whirlpool we need to watch out for. It's the powerful current shooting out. The whirlpools are actually pretty harmless. <laughs> that is actually true. No, it really does not. Anyway, if we can just get back to the... Thank you. Now, this time we're not going to do something stupid like that. I think I want to be here. No, no, I don't want to be here. I want to be over there. It can be a little bit difficult to overcome the whirlpools. But... Well, wait a second. Wait, no, I need to do something with this. But I don't recall what. Well, that wasn't it. By the way, we can use synergy here. Mmm. Maybe burst? Obviously not. Oh, hey, something's happening. Oh, I need to go around it. I don't know how much, but I'm sure something will happen once I do it enough. Come on. Ha ha! Now, I'm betting that that comes right... Yep, it does. Wait, is there something down here? No. Okay, so next stop we want to go into this area, which might be a little bit challenging. Uh, you know, this might even be easier from here, actually. Well, I, whoa, maybe not. This is this is safer, but not necessarily easier. Ah, oh, come on! I can get out of this whirlpool e really easily but not in the direction I want. Nope. Okay, let's try this again. Nope. One more time. No, okay. We'll try it from here. I think I need to do it from here, maybe? Maybe. I'm not really so sure about that, to be honest. Ah, no! 
Ah. Come on. Nope. How about... Nope. Uh, oh, no, I'm in here again. Okay, if I can... No, ow. If I can just... Oh, for crying out. Come on. Ow, I keep doing that. That's really annoying. Hmm. Maybe if I try to do it like this. No, that's clearly not working. But how? Okay, I know I need to get through here next. I mean, I say how, but there's no, there's no trick here. It's just, have the manual dexterity, whoops. It's pretty much just have the manual dexterity to get it right. Which it seems that I am lacking, if we're being honest. No! Come on, let me through! Ah. Man. My hand is sore. Oh, well that just happened. Why can I not do this? I mean, I'm right on the edge, come on! Oh, I finally made it. Okay, oh, there's another volcano. Hmm. Okay, here we are. It's probably still clockwise. That, that seems promising. Um. Okay, we're good. This is like a star shape. Hmm, that's interesting. Nothing happens Ooh, if I circle it, though. Whoa. You need to watch out for that. Okay. Okay, there is actually sort of a trick here. If you don't move the D-pad, you will stay in the same uh, altitude, I guess you could say, around the whirlpool. If you're near the edge of the whirlpool, you'll stay near the edge if you don't just don't touch the D-pad at all. Which actually makes it a lot easier. Uh... No! I was so close! Uh... Well, I'm gonna go ahead and just meet you back there. Okay. We're back here, so so I just need to go like so, and we're here. And hopefully, I actually make it over this time because that 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 was kind of painful. I am relatively near the end, and I would really like to actually finish, basically. Okay, now I can go around the edge. That is, feels like really dangerously close. Oh, well that's a little... I mean... I mean, it's not so bad. There! Got it almost right away. Uh, do I actually want to go down here? I mean, I guess I probably do. Hmm. I don't remember if there's any treasure in the Sea of Time or not. I mean, if there is, I can just come back for it later. And if there's not, well, it's not that important. And even if I couldn't, but I can, it's not like it's that important anyway. I know there... I don't remember for absolute sure whether or not there's treasure here, but I do remember that there isn't any good treasure here. Because, you know, that would be more memorable. Uh, oh, there it is. Nope, not quite. Can I just... 
Okay. How about now? There we go. Hmm. You know, I thought there were monsters in here. So, it's a little surprising to me that there are none whatsoever. Uh-oh. No! Take three. And we made it! <laughs> okay, that might actually be the last one. Or there might be one more. I'm I'm not really sure. I guess we'll find out though. Imminently. Oh, no, didn't quite make that one. Let's try that again. Really? Really? Just really no, there. There we go. There no. Nope, didn't quite hit that one. Oh yeah, this is the last one. Yeah, this is the last one. Okay, I'm gonna save here. First of all, because I just finally finished that stupid thing. Now I'm actually pretty glad that there's no monsters in here. Because this would have been a pain and a half if I had to fight things while doing it. But no. Now, uh... Oh, no, we're good. Wait, wait, there's a whole a another area? Is it seriously? Oh, no, this is what I was expecting. It is Poseidon, the sea god! So, first things first about the- wait, summon? Why do I have so many genie on set? Oh, that's bad. Um, first things first. Gulp. Poseidon is completely invulnerable. We literally cannot deal damage to Poseidon unless we use the trident. So, you know, we're gonna do that. Mm. We're also going to lower Poseidon's speed. Uh, do I have any, like, good summons? Eh. But at least he's okay, especially on Jenna, actually. Hmm. Okay. Um... Okay, then. Yeah. Do I... Yes, I do. Let's use Steam as well. Actually, I should probably wait on summoning until... Well... This is fine. Which is why I gave the trident to Sheep, actually, because she's the fastest. It also deals, well, okay damage, but it breaks Sen's force field, allowing us to actually harm him. And, as you might guess, of an ocean god, Poseidon is heavily water aligned, so every bit of water resistance we have coming into here will be very helpful. He also has a shit ton of HP. And if I recall correctly, resists water, go figure, and is weak against fire. Uh, wow. You are hurt. Do that. You. Oh. Okay, um. Sure. Potent cure. Jenna is gonna hit it with a serpent fume. And you are gonna unleash Shade. Yes, Shade. Counter Rush? Oh, I totally forgot about that. I'm pretty sure that only counters a physical attack. So, summoning and synergy should be fine. At least I hope that's the case. Ew. I guess we'll find out. Okay, um, well, it, he totally counterattacked my summon and my synergy, so it just counterattacked everything. Wow. That, that's kind of BS, actually. Uh, but, you know what? He is a god. If anyone can get away with it, it's a freaking god. Um, pretty much. Pretty much. 
Well, I'm not gonna be able to poison you, so we will use the Trident again. And also, I mean, I don't really want to use another one of these, actually. Let's just use, wait, yeah, let's just use Ragnarok. Um, I would kind of like to use some Fire Sinner, uh, Ginny, because Ulysses is, pro is probably my single biggest damage dealer in this fight. Uh, Meteor might deal a little bit more damage, but Meteor is also a lot harder to use and requires sacrificing um, my ability to cast Aura. So, not really, not really the best. Um, you know, I could go for some agility. And you've already unleashed two dudes. I only need two for Lysis. Your synergy is not going to really do much. Mm. It might be worthwhile to actually reset Shade. <laughs> yeah, actually I'm going to do that. Yeah, I mean that's not really ideal, but it's probably a, the best damage she can deal without using a summon. Oh yeah, all that agility on everyone who isn't peers, that's going to come in a lot of handy. Actually, I should probably buff my defenses more. I mean, agility isn't really a defense, but same difference. Um, okay. This would be a good turn to use Flower, actually. Although, I don't really need Flora, but still. Uh, use Wave, use Flower, use... want to use another Genie. So, increasing attack power would be good, and so would just striking with Cannon. Uh, we'll do it the attack power first. Actually, no, we'll use Cannon. We probably won't be attacking very much with regular attacks, so... And we want to use Shade. Now, if Quap does what I remember it doing, it will take away one of Poseidon's attacks. Which, in hindsight, you, me, would mean using it in combination with Shade is not actually the best choice, but, well, too late now, pretty much. Uh, I mean, this is not going to work, but we'll try it. You can use Ragnarok. You can use Elise's again. Um, I could try to re reduce your defense or resistance, or to even try to blind you, but it m I might be better off actually just healing somewhat well. Hmm. We're gonna do this. Okay, I'm feeling a lot better about the decision to heal now. Because Jenna is going to take a beating. And so will everyone else for that matter. But Jenna's the important one. She has Aura and Ulysses. Powerful Ulysses for that matter. Oh wow, Pierce is actually faster now. That is... Well actually that might be a good thing to be honest. Or not. Poseidon's agility to normal, so he's a little bit faster, but I'm still really quick. I can use Flora. Mm. Let's see. I mean, I don't really want to use any of these. Use Ragnarok. You're going to use Healing Aura. And Shade is on cooldown. Which is a little bit unfortunate. Um... I guess now I can, I'll can. i try to lower your resistance. Well, I don't really want to go below 4, though. Because hmm. that stat decrease is real. So...
So let's just use. Hmm. I don't really want to use fly. I'm already healing. Every well, actually, I should top up Shiva. I think she's going to be hurting pretty badly. His one aura will not be enough to fully heal her. Actually, it probably won't be enough to fully heal Felix either. Maybe Pierce and Jenna though. Oh, I actually just killed him. Wow, that was a lot easier than I... I guess I did just sort of spam summons a little bit. I mean... I did not underestimate Poseidon, as I frequently do <laughs> with bosses. So, he was easier than I expected, but at the same time, a lot of that was probably just because I tend to underestimate bosses. <laughs> Still, I can accept that. I can accept this turn of events. And in fairness, I did deal like over 3,000 damage just with summons alone. I probably took out... Um, actually, just a sec. Oh yeah, check that out. But yeah, seriously, just a sec. Yeah, okay. So, I took out pro probably... Mm. I'm gonna say three quarters of his life with summons. Around there, maybe a, maybe a little bit less than that. And actually, I thought he had even more life. Poseidon has around 5,000 life, and I thought he had more like 7,000. So, I was expecting it to go a little bit longer. Uh, oh wow. That's so cool. But actually, also, this video is kind of long. Or at least it's long for me. I think I have a lot of cutting in the ma water maze, but even so, I'm going to stop up here. Join me next time when we enter Lemuria. Until then, have a great day. Bye!